Hi, today I'm going to show you at Holden's videos how to create a website using Microsoft Web Expression 3. First, we're going to open up uh, Microsoft Web Expression 3. And as you can see right now, you have a bunch of uh, icons up in here. You have all the Microsoft Word elements or whatever uh, up in here, the icons here. You have File, Edit, View, Insert, Format Tools, Table Site, Data View, Panels. First thing you do is you click on Site and you're going to click on new site now you see a box will come up with a name over here C colon users holding documents my websites here you can change the name at the end over here to whatever it is put down my my website or my new website that's the name and the location of the website that you're creating on your hard drive you could do a one page website empty website or import a site wizard we want to import it or you could choose templates and choose one of these templates right here let's say for now we're going to choose template right here uh, there's many of them you have organizations personal small business um, we're just going to choose the first one for now and we'll hit OK this will automatically create folders and web pages with image images in the site view right here okay this is the site view where all the work is done down here you, um, you have folders publishing reports and hyperlinks on the left side you have the folder list which will always stay right here as you can see right here you have the default.html some servers use index.html to upload to the server you just gotta find out from your hosting company which which they prefer so let's say we're going to use most of them use index so we're going to right click we're just going to click on this here right here we're going to change it to index.html index.html and you always keep it lowercase okay this will automatically say are you sure you want to rename default the home page of your site you're going to say yes here are the eight other pages and hyperlinks to it you definitely want to say yes okay these are the other pages you have about calendar contact FAQ then the a folder for all the images of the website informational links news photo gallery and styles this here is the master DWT for now I'm just going to show you how to modify and add an image to your index page which is your home page we'll double click on the index page as you can see here you have the HTML up on top it's a split window and the design area where you do your design this is where you write your code right here you see design split and code let's go for right now to design and say we want to change this image okay we're gonna go to our main area up in here where it says file edit insert oh insert here picture from a file from Adobe Photoshop or from a camera we're gonna choose file because we're gonna get it from our hard drive So let's see if we can insert a picture. I'm going to say I'm going to insert this one right here. Boom. Of the garden. We're just going to highlight that. Hit insert. And you could attach text to the image because as you know with Google and Yahoo, there's a lot of people do image searches. So I'm just going to type in herb garden. So if somebody does a search for an herb garden on an image, you will come up and you can put a longer description right here and hit OK. Now you see the image is a little bit too big, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the image. We're going to we're just going to drag it down or right click, go to picture properties, go to appearance, and let's change it to about 300. Okay, in width and the height is 269. Hit OK, boom. We just change the size the size of the image to what we want. So let's say you now I'm going to show you how to create a hyperlink say you wanna you have information right here and you wanna have a link to more information about this garden we'll click let's type in more information we're gonna highlight this go over onto the right hand corner where it says insert hyperlink hyperlink or control K and you can do an outside link say to a website uh, that would be http colon forward slash forward slash to one of my websites natrcart.com and hit ok 
and now you can see that it created a hyperlink and it linked it underneath. Now let's say you want to preview your work that you did. You got to hit save. Of course you want to save it. Hit OK. It'll save the image to the to the website. You're going to hit file, preview in browser, and I use Google Chrome. You can use Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox. I like to use Google Chrome. It's the most securest. And you can see what the website would look live on the Internet. You got your home, about, news, calendar, photo gallery, FAQ, and contact. There's the picture we put in. And there's the link that we created that if you click on it, will take you to an outside website. So let's close that out. But now I'm going to show you something about here you have design, split, and code. Let's click on the code. This will show you the code of the website. Okay, all websites are created in between HTML. As you can see right here, you have HTML, right here, HTML. Then at the very bottom, you got HTML. In between the HTML, you'll have body, okay, and then body up on the top here, a body. Now, above the body, see the body is the main bulk of the website, has all the information. Behind the scenes, you'll see meta tags and a title. Now, let's say your website title name is completely discountedherbs.com. You would want to have that in your title. I would put down discount. herbs at direct cost okay in the title you could add something more you could put your name in there whatever you want but this is good this is what's going to be on the search engines in the title the meta tags on here we have content so the content will be whatever's in the body will be on the meta tags okay so that's a quick just a little quick tip right there you want to put some good keywords in the title right there okay you could use meta tags, get a meta tag generator, but that's a whole different ballgame. Let's go back to split, and then, or you could just go to design. Okay, say so now you want to change, maybe you don't not happy with about news calendar, you want to change some of these up in here. You will go to the master template, master.dwt, double click on it. Now this is on all the pages here. So if you want to change, let's say, about us, or a calendar to, fo um, let's say, um, more information. So to information, okay? Let's split the code, boom. And here you see calendar. We're going to take this right here and type down information. I-N-F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N. Okay? Let me capitalize that. Hit save. And this is just changing all the other pages also. Now you see it was changed right here. So you can change all of these words right here by going into the HTML. If you need more room, you just drag this right down. And you can change, even change the links also. Okay, so for now, I just showed you how to create a website. One other thing before I sh close out are these other pages right here. If you want to change these other pages right here, what you would do is hit the plus sign up here, go to the default page, and double click on it, and you can see that this is the, the new page that came up, organization, um, additional resources, and you do the exact same thing that I told you before. If you wanted to change any images or the text or anything like that. If you want to change the calendar page, double click on default, and you can see how the calendar right here, let's just go into plain design. And you can change the events and stuff like that. On the next video, I'll show you how to publish to a server. Okay? That's Holden's videos on how to create a website using Microsoft Expression Web 3.